Thanks for joining me for this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Today, going with another beer in can. Uh, this one is by Temperance Beer Company. They're out of Evanston, Illinois, and this beer is called Gate Crasher. And Gate Crasher is an English style IPA. Um, I was told this beer is actually a medal winner from the Great American Beer Festival in 2014. Um, I didn't really check that myself, but um, usually when I hear those things, I would b just believe them, because who's going to lie about that? 6.6% uh, alcohol by volume for this. Since it is an English-style IPA, I'm assuming it's going to be significantly more malty and have a lot more earthy, piney-type notes, and there it goes. If everyone can see, it's getting, uh, hmm. I beer really wants to get out of that can. <laughs> well, we'll see what this means. I can bet it's going to have a decent amount of head to it. I'll tell you that much. I had another gusher not long ago on an episode. I forget which beer it was, but <laughs> what's going on here? I think it was the Grotzer that I had by Westbrook. So go ahead and check that out. Oh, anyway, showed you the can. Oh, look, it's people's legs. I don't know. Some designs, I'm just like, what? Okay. So the coloration is probably what you would assume for an IPA. Um, very amber, deep, deep orangish coloration. It's very, it's, uh, very clear. You can see right through it. There's no sediment in there, very filtered. There is a citrusy aspect to the nose, but there's also a decent amount of... Um, maltiness and some piney aspect, earthy, definitely going to be like a deeper, maltier um, IPA, which, you know, you'd expect for English style IPAs. I'm trying to see if I can pick out anything else, but it's just kind of like some citrus and some earthy pininess. It smells good though. I think it smells like it's pretty balanced between that kind of earthy note and the citrusy note. Let's see. Pretty clean, to be honest. Um, for an earthier uh, English style IPA, not bad. Uh, you get a little bit of the citrus kind of peeking through on the end, uh, but up front it's very malty. It's very um, earthy because obviously, you know, if you know what malt tastes like, it's pretty earthy aspect. Um, but the, like I said, the citrus is peeking out just a little bit. The body is nice and present. It's kind of like a medium body. Um, and for not being like a uh, imperial or anything. Hmm. I'm not a massive fan about um, of this because, you know, if you know me and you know the way I am on the podcast, I typically really like the more citrus forward IPAs. But knowing what I was getting into with this, um, not bad. Uh, this is this is more of like an easy sipping IPA f in my opinion. The flavors are not crazy. Like I said, you know, earthiness and a little bit of citrus. And I and the actually, the, the bitterness is not out of kilter either, which is pretty nice. So I feel like this is a type of IPA you could just keep having a sip, a sip, a sip, a sip, and keep going and in no time just be like, oh man, did I just finish that whole can? Not because it's like, oh God, it tastes so good, but it's one of those situations where maybe you're engaged in a conversation and you're just not paying attention. There's nothing about this beer that's going to slow you down from drinking it because it's very harmonious and it's easy to drink. So say what you will about that. Maybe it's for you. Maybe it's not for you. Um, for me, I don't think I'd seek it out. But if somebody was giving it to me, I think I'd say, yeah, thanks. I'll take that and I'll drink it and have no problem with it. So Temperance Beer Company, um, not a bad English IPA. Thank you very much. Everybody, thanks for checking this uh, video out and go have yourself an awesome beer.